President Trump has appointed with approval from the Senate a record number of federal judges. Reproductive rights groups have voiced concerns that some of these appointees, such as Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh, will make decisions that undermine access to health care and legal abortion. Do you share this concern, and do you think changes are needed to the ju judicial confirmation process? I I'll start with uh, Lisa Savage. Okay, Lisa, yeah. Thank you for that question. Um, it does seem that judicial appointments have become much more politicized in recent years. I don't actually favor a litmus test for judicial appointments. I would look not only at the uh, record of a, a judge in terms of the rulings that they had made, but also at uh, issues of character. Part of the design of our system of government was that the judiciary would be a check on the executive and the legislative branches and would uh, be able to exercise uh, independent thought and not hew to the um, you know literal meaning of the Constitution as written but take into account the fact that society has changed technology has evolved and things may be different I also uh, feel that sticking too closely to precedent is not necessarily a great thing things change sometimes uh, uh, past decisions that were made judicially were not good decisions they were racist they reflected white supremacy and they need to be overturned so um, that's, those are my views on how I would look at judicial appointments. Thank you, Ms. Savage. Uh, Senator Collins. I agree with Lisa that the judicial appointment process has become far too political. A perfect example of that is members of the Senate announcing their opposition to President Trump's nominees before the nominees' names were known. That is not what senators are supposed to do. I have applied exactly the same standards to all the judicial appointments that I've been called to vote upon. In the Supreme Court, I supported two of President Obama's, his two appointees, because they were qualified, they were experienced, they had integrity. They were of law and to the Constitution. I act same standard to President Bush's appointees and to uh, President Trump's appointees. And as a result, I've been, as even the newspapers have said, remarkably consistent in the approach that I have taken. Speaker Gideon. Thank you. This is an incredibly important subject because who is in the judiciary will have an impact on us for generations to come, especially when we think about those lifetime appointments. Now, the reality is, as has it already been said by uh, others up here, that the judiciary is a separate but equal branch of government, and an independent functioning judiciary is so, so important. Unfortunately, what we have seen over the past four years is a concerted effort to change the face of the judiciary. And we have seen nominees come from this president that are unqualified and not fit to be judicial nominees, yet Senator Collins has voted as of this week for 170 of them, some of them who the American Bar Association said were literally unqualified to become a judge. Now, if I were in the Senate, I would want to make sure that someone, first of all, met that low bar of being qualified. But additionally, I'd want to make sure that they have the temperament. I'd want to make sure that they have respect for precedent. That's what I'd be looking for. Thank you. Mr. Lynn? Yeah. As, as, a, as a Christian uh, here with all of us tonight, um, one thing I can promise all of you, and, and so controversy is the abortion issue, and I really want to talk to Sarah Gideon supporters, uh, that even though abortion may not be right in my family, I assure you under no condition uh, would I ever impose uh, any laws or regulations that would uh, hamper a woman's right to choose. That's between her doctor and her God. The government has no biz, federal government has no business in it. And number two, I would have never voted to confirm Brett Kavanaugh. What in the world was Susan Collins thinking? She talks about being a uniter, but that was so divisive. It was a wrong, and I need to focus 
on our appointments that aren't creating so much controversy. We need to bring America together, quit pulling it apart. Susan Collins continues to talk about stuff up here that just isn't true in her voting record, nor Sarah's. These women are spenders. Mr. Lynn, I'm going to have to cut you off. I'm going to have to cut you off. The country's going to be bankrupt. You've got 10 seconds I, to respond. I have been mentioned by two of very my quickly, opponents. We do our and I would say to Sarah that she's been very critical of my support for Justice Kavanaugh. Would she have voted for Justice Roberts? Would you? Uh, I believe I would have to fully study and be able to answer that question. She's ducking the question. Uh